What's going on everyone, my name's Tenebris and today I'm bringing you a video on why you probably want to play Atomic Heart in Russian, or whatever language preference you have with subtitles on. There's a huge variety of languages to choose from, with 9 total voiceover languages in the game, and today we're going to do a quick comparison and I'll tell you why I think this game is best played with Russian audio. <laughs> Стань частью коллектива и обрети сверхвозможности. Солдат, поднимайся. Очнись. Как ты? В норме. Вставай. Выучить китайский язык за пять минут. Стать доктором квантовой физики за один час. С запуском коллектива 2.0 такие знания будут доступны каждому. Скоро мы прибудем в точку назначения. Расчетное время прибытия 11.47. So first up, let's cover the massive amount of languages that'll be offered in Atomic Heart here. English, Chinese, Russian, Spanish, German, French, Italian, Polish, and Brazilian Portuguese. Shoutouts to the homies in Brazil finally getting the recognition they deserve, but with nine languages and a massive amount of localization, each language will have dramatic effects on how the story of Atomic Heart is portrayed to you. So let's play through each language in a small snippet released by Munfish just yesterday. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. 少少同志,这个是你的座驾机火马。谢了。Vale. Hier ist dein Fahrzeugaktivierungscode, Genosse Major. Geht klar. Voici le code d'activation de votre véhicule, Camarade Major. Compris. Ecco il codice di attivazione del veicolo, compagno. Bene. Oto pański kod do pojazdu, towarzyszu majorze. Jasne. Aqui está o código de ativação do seu veículo, camarada major. Entendido. Now, I don't know if it's foreign appeal, but I'd say Russian was the best delivery of the lines overall. And this is something I've come across, especially when comparing to my native language of English. It's not like the English voiceover is bad, it's just maybe not delivered the best way in comparison to Russian or another favorite from the bunch, German. German was surprisingly well done, and if the game had a different setting, I'd probably be telling you to play the game in German instead. But let's throw up just a couple quick raw comparisons to show what I mean about the kind of way lines are delivered here. Shut up! Why the hell should I believe you all? We've got 30 seconds, let's go! 30 seconds to what? And then it's total be up his dad, son. That's what. Would you like to get genius abilities or control robots with your mind? Don't worry, honey. I'm okay. The procedure went well. Хотите получить возможности гения? Или управлять роботами силой мысли? Не волнуйся, милая, со мной все в порядке. Операция была безболезненной. Now... Even though these clips are from 8 months ago and likely the small details like lip syncing have been fixed up, I really wonder how the voice acting can be fixed because I don't know again if it's just me here, but the Russian sounded so much more solid than the English voice acting. Now, I do have a bit of a bias here, obviously. I mean, the title of the video gives that one away, and it's all about that immersion, man. And 
there's something that I always like about f being fully immersed into a game I enjoy. And when I'm being called comrade and stuff in English, it just makes me personally cringe a little bit, for lack of a better word. So, for a game set in Russia with strong Soviet roots in an alternate history of Russia, it just feels only right to then have the language I'm listening to be Russian as well. Take, for instance, the main game on my channel, Generation Zero. It's set in Sweden, and for my first playthrough, I immediately put it to Swedish as the language, just based on its setting alone. And I haven't looked back, man. Sure, I don't know a word of Swedish, but it's made the game so much more immersive listening to audio logs and character dialogue along the way. And speaking of listening to dialogue, with a voice protagonist in Atomic Heart, there's a lot of banter between him and his glove, as well as random combat banter too. And personally, from what I've heard so far, I'd have a little bit less banter overall, but that's a design decision and I'm sure it'll get easy to blank out the character, cussing out every robot and mutant along the way. But that repetitive nature of the dialogue just means you'll have to hear certain statements over and over again, which might not matter for the language you set the game in, but it might help the repetition not be so blatant sometimes. Are you ever going to give it a rest? Oh yeah, there's a hawk in the sky. It was a pleasure serving with you, Major P3. Unfortunately, you are about to be killed. Where's your fucking button? Again, it's not even like the VO is that bad, it's just the nature of the beast in video games with audio triggers and stuff. Though that doesn't mean I'm letting the voice acting off the hook entirely here. Even though it's not that bad, it's also not great, and I think Atomic Heart needs a really strong portrayal of character. As Mudfish's first game, Atomic Heart is ambitious, and the end result needs to be strong the whole way through for it to be really solid. I've shown enough comparisons by now that you might already see what I'm saying here, but without that backbone of rich character portrayal, then Atomic Heart might not be that 100% good game that it deserves to be. From even just the small details, like immersion and storytelling. So, I've gone on about my end long enough here, and I want to turn things over to you dudes now. What language do you plan to play the game in? Let me know in the comments down below. I think the turnout might be pretty interesting if enough folks sound off here. But for now, I want to say, as always, thank you for watching my video. Maybe subscribe to stick around, but I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.